Hey, what's going on guys? Let's do this problem right here. This question is asking three very long straight parallel wires each carry currents of 4 ampere directed out of the page as shown in the figure. The wires pass through the vertices of a right isocells triangle of side 2 cm. What is the magnitude of the magnetic field at point P at the midpoint of the hypotenuse of the triangle? So they are asking for the magnetic field at this location. Let's see how we can find it out. So first thing we have to realize is that these two are going to cancel out. So to find that one out, what we do? We direct our thumb towards current's direction. So this is coming out of the page, right? So you actually direct your thumb toward yourself. And if you curl it, you will notice this is going in counterclockwise. So the magnetic field is going to be in this direction. So when it goes through P, this is going to go through pass through like this right so this is going to be in circular pattern now let's look at this one if you point your pump uh, thumb toward it and if you curl it this also goes counterclockwise so counterclockwise means this is going to pass this p through this direction right and you see this in the midpoint these two are going to cancel out so there's no magnetic field due to these two so these two are going to cancel out because they are in opposite direction now uh, let's get rid of this part so we are trying to find the p right here magnetic field at location p now only the magnetic field is going to be due to this current now to find that one out we we are going to use this equation that is b is equal to mu naught i over 2 phi r right r is going to be distance from this p to this one so we have to find that one out so here we can use Pythagorean theorem we have two right here two right here so if we find we can find the total distance first so if we find the total distance 2 square plus 2 square square root so that's going to be so we here we are going to have 4 plus 4 that's going to be 8 so we are going to have 2 root 2. This total distance is going to be 2 root 2. Right? But in order to calculate this one, we have to take one of this part. So if this is 2 root 2, half of this is going to be root 2. Right? If this is root 2, now we can use the Pythagorean theorem again to find this location. This location we are interested in. Let's say this is x. So let's see how we can find it. So again, we are going to use Pythagorean theorem. So x is going to be, so 2 square is going to be equal to root 2 square plus x square. So from this one we can derive our final answer. This is going to be 4 minus 2 is equal to x square. So from this one we know that x square is going to be equal to 2. Therefore x is equal to root 2. So this distance is going to be root 2. Now we can apply this one in this equation to find the magnetic field. And this is going to be permeability constant. That's so B is equal to mu naught. That is permeability constant. That is going to be four phi times ten to the power of minus seven times the current. That is four ampere. Right. So this is tes Tesla meter per ampere. So this is four ampere. And in the denominator we have two phi, and the distance that is root two. And this is in centimeter, so we have to multiply this one by 10 to the power minus 2. And if you calculate this value, you should get 5.66 times 10 to the power minus 5 Tesla. And that's going to be the final answer. So let's round this one out. So this is our final answer. And let's look at this problem right here. The point charge Q moves on the x axis in the positive direction with a speed of 280 meter per second. The point P is on the y axis, y is equal to 70 millimeter. The magnetic field produces at point P as the charge moves through the origin is equal to negative 0.3 micro Tesla K. What is the charge Q? So they are asking for the Q. Now, the magnetic field and Q related equation is going to be this one. 
b is equal to mu naught q v cross r right over 4 pi r square now here we are trying to find the q so let's rearrange this equation q is going to be equal to b times 4 pi r square over mu naught b and then we have v cross r right now we, we know the b that is 0 0.3 tesla actually this is negative 0. Point, negative 0 0.3 micros tesla right so this is going to be 10 to the power of minus 6 tesla and then we have 4 pi r square 4 pi and then r square r is going to be the distance so here we have 70 millimeter if we convert this one into meter that's going to be 0 0.07 right meter square and in the denominator we have permeability constant that is 4 5 times 10 to the power of minus 7 hmm. so this one shouldn't be here this b shouldn't be here because if we rearrange this one this one b times 4 pi r square the denominator we have mu and v cross r so we have mu and v cross r 4 pi times 10 to the power of minus 7 and then we have velocity that is 280 meter per second and v cross r is basically the unit i mean the direction so direction of the vector speed is speed is going in this positive I, uh, x direction so this is going to be i velocity is in the positive x direction so that's i cross this r so r is in the y axis right and it's positive so this positive y axis so it's going to be j now i cross j j k so i cross j so t u u k and uh, then we have this t tesla also in the k direction now let's calculate this one and if you calculate this one you should get negative 52.5 micro tesla right so that's going to be the final answer and that's how we do this kind of problems so let's write this one clearly negative 52 micro tesla and that's the final answer I hope you guys find this video helpful. See you next time.